He said, stare into the camera. What am I else am I supposed to stare at? I have my big giant eyeball. Oh, I'm on. <clears throat> and now, featuring one of the comedians from this Just In News Comedy Club show. Please enjoy. Uh, and keep it going for your host, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. This Just In News 2020 needs to raise the bar. <laughs> I just had the best day of my life. <laughs> oh, they're never going to find the body. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Money can't buy happiness, but it can't buy duct tape and a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> I love the place I work. The motto is Carpe Vader. Seize the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> I got my midterm feedback the other day. My boss sits me down and says, Liz, you're vicious, ferocious, feisty, dangerous, violent, psycho, evil, cold-blooded, dark-hearted, and evil-natured. He noticed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you say so psychopathic? I say sociopathic. Let's call the whole thing off. Uh, uh. I think we can all agree the term adequate should never be used to describe a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, though, I do need to invest in a pickaxe. I'm out here in Phoenix, Arizona. Have you tried to dig in this desert? <laughs> this is a weird place. Everything out here bites, scratches, stings, burns, or is poisonous, including your Tinder date. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, I'm 50 years old. When I was a kid, we used Tinder to burn things. <laughs> Hasn't changed. <laughs> oh. See, they did an interview recently with a bunch of young ladies and said, hey, would you really date a 30-year-old man who quarantines with his mom? And the response came back, no, but we date a 30-year-old man who quarantines with his wife. No! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I blame my generation for the social ills of this younger generation. We prided ourselves on raising children. And if you've got a 30-year-old in your basement, you've succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 2020 is the year of disasters. But you notice every state has their specialty. California has its fires. Florida's got its hurricanes. Arizona gets Crayolas in the back seat. <laughs> Carpools come with a Brazilian wax. Oh. Yow! <laughs> oh. Hey, great for date nights, though, because your better half can taste the rainbow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, many people know I, I retired from the military last year and rapidly found out I suck at being a civilian. They sent us to class actually to teach us how to be a civilian. I got sent to remedial training. <laughs> Sit down with a career counselor. He looks at me and says, Liz, what are you good at? I said, killing and bombing. He said, stand up comedy. I said, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> Most young comics are worried about disappointing their parents. I got to disappoint the entire Department of Defense. <laughs> 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 The worst thing about being a civilian, the women's movement is weird. They tell me we're gonna combat the stereotype of the over-emotional, irrational female by screaming through the streets with knitted vaginas on her head. Oh. <laughs> Who came up with this plan? Warner Brothers on an acid trip? I taught, I taught a putty hat. I did, I did taught a putty hat. <laughs> After a while, you just wanna grab it by the pussy hat and smack their skulls together to see if you can spark a brain cell. <laughs> I totally screwed up at the Baltimore Women's March. We were talking equal rights and I suggested universal draft registration. <laughs> <laughs> I got front row seats to Pussy Riot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is my time. I'm Liz Frisius. Have a wonderful night. And please keep it going for your host, A.A. Ron. Uh, let's give a round of applause to Liz Frisius.